Hi all, very good morning to one and all. Hey, welcome to SS Signed Online Trainings. We are providing the trainings on different platforms like the Salesforce, Adoop, and we are providing the trainings on different platforms. And we are the one of the leading IT online providing company. We are providing the trainings as well as we are providing the placement assistance to the candidates. And we are providing 100% real-time coding and real-time examples. And we are we will help you on the resume preparation and we will guide you how to mold your career this is about the quick introduction of ssign coming to the trainer profile karthik here and i'm having eight plus years of experience in salesforce.com here we will provide the trainings on salesforce administration plus salesforce development so coming to our training so first of all we are going to discuss about the different roles what are the roles available in our salesforce.com so see guys in our sales force we are having two different roles the first one is a sfdc admin and the second one is sfdc developer so sfdc administration as well as a sfdc developer see guys here the sfdc is nothing but salesforce.com so sfdc or salesforce both are same so first of all sfdc admin and the second one is sfdc developer so if you want to go for sfdc administration what is this sfdc administration remember this point guys sfdc administration is nothing but by using of the salesforce predefined functionality we will build or we will develop the application what is this predefined functionality nothing but out of box functionality so by using of the salesforce predefined functionality we will build or we will develop the application and see guys in the administration side we are having some certification what are the certifications available in our administration so the first one is admin 201 certification next the sales cloud certification next one is a service cloud certification and the last one is advanced admin to double one certification see guys these all are the certifications available in our administration side so see admin 201 certification sales cloud certification service cloud certification and advanced admin 211 certification if you want to write the certification you no need to do any projects you no need to do any real time examples guys here if you want to go for the certification means you will get 60 multiple choice questions see 60 multiple choice questions and the 90 minutes is a duration and the next one is you need to get 65 percentage guys here once you get the 65 percentage they will provide the certification for you and they will provide only the soft copy in that soft copy they will not mention okay this guy got 90 percent this guy got 80 percent nothing in the certification just you will get your name and your certification number and see guys the registration fee is two hundred dollars this is the registration fee and one more important thing is every year you need to pay hundred dollars this is salesforce certification maintenance fee and every three months you need to renewal your certification okay so for the admin 201 sales cloud service cloud advanced admin these all are the certification pattern and one more important point is if you want to go for the sales cloud service cloud advanced admin means first of all must and should you need to complete this admin 201 certification guys once you complete this 201 certification then only they will allow you to write the sales cloud service cloud and the advanced admin certifications okay now coming to the development side what is this sfdc developer remember so if you want to go for sfdc admin means you no need to worry about this development activities guys but if you want to go for a salesforce developer means must and should you need to have good knowledge on the admin this development because if you want to go for a salesforce developer means you need to work on the admin as well as a development both guys and in the development side we are having three different modules the first one is visual force and the second one is apex and the third one is a web service so see 
first of all what is a visible force remember this point guys visible force is a framework by using of this visible force pages we will design our own user interface and what about the apex c apex is nothing but here we will write the business logic see guys just now we discussed right what is a visible force visible force is a framework by using of the visible force we will design our own user interface for example i created a button guys so whenever user click on that button what action you want to perform you want to store the data or you want to navigate to other page what action you want to perform that everything will write in the apex side okay and the next one is what about the web services web services is nothing but integration so how you integrate with the external system see i am taking a small example if you want to book a movie ticket what you will do we will just simply go to the pvr there we just simply select the movie and the timing city everything next what we will do we just simply navigate to payment gateway see here your payment gateway design in one application as well as your pvr design in one other application so by using of this web services we will integrate this payment gateway as well as this pvr website that's nothing but web service and one more thing guys if you want to learn the visible force pages you no need to have any programming knowledge guys because in the visible force we are having set of predefined tags our salesforce having a own set of predefined tags and the next one is apex so apex is the object oriented programming language guys so before going to the apex first of all we'll discuss all the basics about the object oriented programming language like what is this object oriented oriented programming language what is a processor oriented programming language why everybody looking for the object oriented programming language what are the advantages of this object oriented programming language what is mean by a variable what is a data type what is a operator like that from the scratch we'll discuss all the basics about the object oriented programming language once you guys clear on the object oriented programming language then only we'll go for this apex so once we complete the apex finally we'll go for this web services got it this is about the different modules in our salesforce and in the development also we are having two certifications guys the first one is dev 401 certification and the second one is advanced developer 501 certification so dev 401 certification and advanced developer 501 certification now if you want to go for this 501 certification means first of all must and should you need to complete this 401 certification guys once you complete this 401 certification then only they will allow you to write this 501 certification here one more important point guys see the 201 certification and 401 certification we don't have any dependency okay if you want directly you can write this 401 certification or else directly if you want you can write the 201 also so here we don't have any dependency guys so for the 401 again the same thing 60 multiple choice question 90 minutes is a duration 65 percent this is a pass percentage 200 dollars it is a registration fee and 100 dollars this is a maintenance fee and coming to the advanced developer see the advanced developer means it is the most complicated as well as most advanced certification in our salesforce see if you want to go for this 501 certification means we are having three modules you need to complete three modules guys see the first one is we need to write the exam so the 501 certification first of all we need to write the exam so in the exam you will get 60 multiple choice question 90 minutes is a duration and there are 65 dollar 65 percentage this is your pass percentage after that once you complete this exam means we are having the second phase is a project so your salesforce will provide a project for you so you need to complete this project within 30 days once you complete this project also then finally you are having the viva viva with the salesforce once you complete the viva also then only they will provide this 501 certification remember this point guys once you are having the 501 certification means you are the king of the salesforce 
so this is about the different modules and certifications available in our salesforce coming to our training guys by using of our training you can easily complete this 401 certification and the 201 certification also and one more point guys we will provide the material also salesforce standard materials as well as our material our ss sign material also by using of that material you can start immediately in our salesforce.com and one more important point guys we are providing only the real-time example so if you take any concept guys we'll take one real-time example and we will implement that example in the class itself it is a completely practical based training it's a not a theoretical session it's a completely practical based training so once you complete the course means definitely you can start working immediately in salesforce.com okay so now guys coming to our course content what are the topics we covered in our salesforce so see first of all what we will do is we'll go for the administration so first of all we will discuss about the administration so in the administration what are the concepts we covered so see guys in the administration first of all we'll discuss about the crm because guys our salesforce is a crm tool so first of all we'll discuss the crm so what is a crm why we need the crm what is the history of the crm like that we'll discuss all the basics about the crm and the next one is we'll discuss about the cloud computing nothing but your cloud computing basics so what is a cloud computing why we need this compute cloud computing what are the modules available in this cloud computing like that we'll discuss all the basics about the cloud computing then we'll go for the salesforce.com what is the salesforce.com how many types of editions we have and what is your salesforce architecture everything we'll discuss in the next class next we'll discuss about the salesforce automation the salesforce automation means here we'll discuss how to create your application how to create the objects how to create a user how to create a button like that we'll discuss all the concepts guys here remember one important point guys we are having two terms in our salesforce first one is a standard second one is a custom so what is the difference between this standard and custom so remember Remember this point the standard is nothing but the whatever salesforce provided we will call it as a standard the custom means whatever we created then we will call it as a custom okay and the next one is we'll discuss about the personal setup nothing but how to manage your personal information like how to manage the user information like what about the email what about their password like that how to manage the personal information and the next how to manage your company information and the next in the sixth chapter we'll discuss about the relationship so how to establish the relation between two different objects that we'll discuss in the sixth chapter and the next one is formula fields and roll up summary field nothing but based on the formula how you can calculate the values that we'll discuss in the sixth chapter and see the next one is the record type so the record types is nothing but on a same page will di display different user interface like for example guys in my organization we are having the administrators hr users sales user marketing users so what i will do is if the sales user log into the system i will display all the sales related information all the sales related layout all the sales related values if the admin users log into the system i will display all the admin related values okay and the next one is the standard object so what is this standard object the standard objects are nothing but objects whatever salesforce provided we will call it as a standard object so in the 10th chapter we'll discuss all the information about the standard objects and the next one is workflow rule what is this workflow see here the workflow is a automated process so whenever it meets a specific criteria i will send an email to a specific user i will update a specific field i will assign a task to your user so here in the 11th chapter we'll discuss about the workflow rules next one is approval process in the 12th chapter we'll see how to send the approval request to your supervisor so if for example if you want to apply a leave what you will do you just simply send an email to your 
supervisor so if your supervisor want he can approve the record if you don't want he just simply reject the record and the 13th chapter will discuss about the analytics so what is this analytics so in the analytics will discuss about how to create a reports in our salesforce how to create a dashboard everything will discuss in the analytics chapter and the salesforce knowledge so what is this knowledge remember guys the salesforce knowledge is nothing but we will create the articles so in our salesforce we can create the article and we will share the articles with your user so in the 14th chapter we'll discuss about the articles and see 15th and 16th chapter will discuss about the sites how to create the sites in our salesforce in the 17th chapter the data utility data utility is nothing but how to insert the data into salesforce how to update the data into salesforce how to delete the data everything will discuss in the 17th chapter because see guys if you are having one record means what we will do directly we will go to the user interface and we will insert the record but i am having almost 50000 records and how to insert the 50000 records we just simply go for this data utilities next what about the security how to provide the security to your user that will discuss in the 18th chapter and see the sharing rules the sharing rules is nothing but how to share the records to your users that will discuss in the 19th chapter and see the 20th chapter will discuss about the monitoring how to monitor your organization that we'll discuss in the 20th chapter and see the last one is app exchange so what is this app exchange app exchange is a marketplace here it's just like a google or app store see guys for example if you are in the if you purchase a mobile so if you want to install a application what you will do directly we will go to the app store or the google store in the same way we are having a store called app exchange here we will get thousands of applications so remember app exchange is a marketplace and here we will get thousands of application once we discuss the app exchange finally we'll discuss about the certification and the interview questions once you complete this one also finally we will do two projects guys two projects by using of the two projects you will get the end-to-end -end process about the salesforce administration this is about the admin course content guys coming to the development so in the development we already discussed right we are having three modules visual force apex and web service so first of all coming to our visual force in the visual force first of all we'll discuss about the visual force introduction like what is a visual force why we need this visual force salesforce already providing some predefined functionality then why we are going for this custom pages what are the uses of this visual force how your visual force architectured everything we'll discuss in the first chapter and the second chapter will discuss about the bindings nothing but how to bind the data in our visual force that will discuss in the second chapter and the next one guys here will discuss about the visual force tags we already discussed right visual force is a framework and it is a markup language what is a markup language markup language is nothing but here we are having set of predefined tags like if you want to create a page we are having one predefined tag if you want to create a button we are having one predefined tag if you want to create a section we are having one predefined tag so here what we are doing we are just simply discussing all the predefined tags in our visual force so see all are the visual force tags once we complete the visual force tag then we'll discuss about the chain set so what are the chain set to so see the chain sets are nothing but we will deploy the code from sandbox to production see here the sandbox is nothing but your development environment so how to perform the deployment activities in our salesforce that will discuss once we complete the deployment also then we'll go for this apex so once you complete once we entered into the apex first of all we are will discuss all the basics about object oriented programming language guys here first of all we'll discuss about all the object oriented programming language so see here the first 10 chapters will discuss object oriented programming language once you clear in this 10 chapter then we'll enter into the apex so first we'll discuss what is the apex what is the use of this apex what are the advantages of this apex everything we'll discuss after the 
apex we'll discuss about the soql so what is this soql by using of the soql we will retrieve the data from a single object so remember this point by using of the soql we will retrieve the data from a single object and see sosl yes what is a sosl sosl is nothing but we will retrieve the data from multiple objects and see here the triggers what is a trigger remember guys the triggers are nothing but we will provide the advanced form of workflow see the triggers are nothing but it is the advanced form of workflow whenever you insert the data whenever you update the data whenever you delete the data if you want to perform any operation means then we'll go for this trigger and see the next one is salesforce testing the salesforce testing is nothing but here we will write the test classes guys the test class is also nothing but a normal apex class by using of this test class we'll check our code performance and the next one is governor limit so what are the limitations in our salesforce the schedule and batch apex the schedule and batch apex is nothing but for example i want to execute my apex class at specific intervals so every day night 12 o'clock i want to execute my apex class then what we need to do we will go for the schedule apex the batch apex is nothing but if you want to process millions of records then we will go for this batch apex next one is custom setting the custom settings also nothing but it's just like your custom objects guys so by using of the custom setting we are having some extra advantages so that we'll discuss in the custom setting and we'll discuss about the packages and the finally we'll implement some real-time example guys once we complete the real-time examples also then we'll go for the web services in the web services guys first of all we'll discuss about the what is the web service what is the use of this web service next how many types of apis we have then we'll discuss about the SOAP API, Bulk API, and Metadata API. So this is about our content in our Salesforce. If you have any queries, if you need any further information, please feel free to contact us. Thank you. Thank you very much for your